Yo, 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 I have found a good one. Like, I have truly found a really good series on my conquest to just binge anything new, to find things that really just catch my eye and read for myself, like the recent stuff of Omniscient Reader, to Lore Olympus, Unholy Blood, to Purple Hyacinth, and then countless other manga that I've been covering as well. I've been just journeying around trying to find some good things that really just stand out to me. And I eventually wound up reading this series right here, Hero Killer. Now, automatically, just the title alone is very straight to the point. It's basically about a character that is a hero killer. Now, if you have been on my channel for a long time, you know how much I love heroes and villains. I mean, I review My Hero Academia. It's about that entire you know, theme of heroes versus villains. And so seeing a series called Hero Killer instantly piqued my, you know, interest. I wanted to see what it actually was about. So I sat down and I caught up with this series. There's currently only seven chapters out at this time. So it's really quick to catch up. You can catch up with it about maybe 30 minutes or less. It, it's a very quick read, but it's a very enjoyable read with so much potential that I'm excited to see what the writer actually does with the story. So let's, uh, let's talk about what is this and is it something that would actually interest you? So you probably peeked the title. I probably said something along the lines of probably Stain or all for one, and most likely, majority of you recognize those names. You know about Stain, the hero killer from My Hero Academia, and also All for One from My Hero Academia as well. And imagine if these two characters just merged into one. There is some differences, but imagine if like some of their major traits can merged into one, and it became our main female character of this series, Hero Killer. You can already see why my interest was really piqued. Like, I was wanting to know where it was going to go just from that. Just finding out these traits about the character. So, let's get into it. Hero Killer is about our main female character that wants to pretty much get rid of all the corrupted and evil heroes. Because with the way society works within the series, you have it to where heroes can get away with literal murder. There is no real distinction between heroes and villains within the story, very much like My Hero Academia. And basically, the thing is, this takes it to the rather extreme. Because of how heroes have such status and power within the world, they're able to go into a situation, let's say like a hostage situation, and confront the villains, and then they'll literally kill the hostages just before they can get to the villains and kill the villains. And then they'll frame the killing of the hostages on to the villains, and so the hero gets off scot-free. There is a lot of corrupt heroes within this society. So basically, you have it to where our main female character, she comes in, and she's cleaning it up. She's going out of her way, and she is literally chopping down every individual hero, maybe even good as well, to find out what happened to her in the past and her sister, and I'll talk more about that in a second. But the point is, is she's pretty much... She's the Punisher. She's, you know, getting rid of corrupt heroes, corrupt people, part of society. And on top of that, to throw in the all for one stuff, she gains their ability. That right there, that's what's really cool. That is something that really stuck, like, stood out to me. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to be really cool. So she literally is able to steal the abilities of any person she comes in contact with, either be hero or villain. And she is able to actually fully harness that ability. Now, it hasn't been fully explained on exactly how it completely works. The only thing we truly know at this point is, is that she apparently can use this ability probably for a long period of time afterwards. Like, if she lets say gains a lightning type power from like the hero she first encountered in the first chapter as she gets that power from him she can have it many many days afterwards after he's long deceased so basically she doesn't need to worry about keeping let's say a hero or a villain alive if she wants to hold on to that power however we do know that there is some form of stipulation like a weakness to her ability to where she's only able to maintain it for a limited amount of time we see a like a clock like a watch that she holds at the end of chapter 7 which basically shows that she's only to able to maintain her power for about seven minutes and she says every time that she steals an ability her power actually gets a lot stronger so you're already seeing where there's a cycle of interesting things going on here you have a door she's literally hunting down 
bad heroes, but on top of that, she is stealing these powers from the heroes, and she is growing her power and getting so much stronger she's able to maintain it at a longer rate. So just like all around, it you can see why I'm interested. This is a really cool freaking series, and I... I, I really am so hyped up. I found this so early on. I cannot wait to see how this series progresses and grows from chapter 7 onwards because it's just, it's so early into the story. I, I'm getting pumped up just thinking about it. But okay, so uh, let's get into the actual story about her past. Our main female character's past to kind of one of her main motivations to be like she is. So we get a brief description that, or a past flashback where it shows she, at one point in her time, she had a sister. And her sister died. Now, we don't really know exactly everything that happened and led up to those events, but her sister died to apparently a hero. Now, there could probably be a twist later on down the road. Maybe the it wasn't a hero, it was a villain. But honestly, the way the story is painting heroes, pretty much there's no difference. Heroes are villains, and villains are villains as well, and heroes. So there's really no distinction between the two. It's just basically the title. That's really all it comes down to. But the point is, is that it's revealed that her sister was apparently killed by a hero. She doesn't know who it is, she just knows that a hero killed her sister, and because of that, she vowed to figure out who the hero was and cut them down and get vengeance for her sister. So it is a revenge story. However, she is on her way to just getting rid of every bad hero until eventually she reaches her goal. So she's just chopping every hero down left and right, just to obtain her goal, and so I am looking forward to seeing where her journey takes her, because she's pretty much a villain, honestly, because I, I feel like she's going to come to the point to where she's going to chop down so many heroes, she's going to lose herself, she's going to lose her sense of, you know, like, morals, like, where she won't understand the weight of life is easy anymore, because she's just getting rid of people left and right, and I feel like eventually she's probably going to come in contact with maybe a really good person, and she's going to chop them down as well, or she's going to come into a situation that is very similar to what the heroes have been doing and framing villains for all these bad acts, even though they're the ones getting rid of hostages, etc. I feel like that's where the story is kind of leading towards, because that is definitely the picture it's painting, is that there is no difference between the two, and is our main female character, the hero killer, is she really that different? She's just on a conquest, a vi uh, revenge, to get rid of heroes in her way. So, I... Gotta say, this series has a lot going for it. It does, and I mean, if you are heavily interested, like I said, in My Hero Academia, and you like darker stories, like, this is dark. There's there's already a lot of action, some violence, some blood in it. If you, if you love darker stories, and you always wish, like, like, My Hero Academia could be darker, this is for you. Hero Killer is definitely for you, because I know a lot of you guys that watch me love this type of stuff, love heroes and villains. Here you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm offered a full recommendation to it. it. It's really, it's enjoyable. Anyways, a few things I do want to talk about before I kind of wrap up the video is that the artwork and the color palette in general is very beautiful. I really love the backgrounds, especially some of the scenes I'm probably showing right now with how she's like looking out to the sky. I just, I love the way the colors are done and the way they merge with the character with the red and black and they have this other hues in the background that with it. The, the art is really impressive, and I already see from the first chapter to the seventh chapter, there's already been a lot of improvement with the artwork, and I cannot wait to see, once again, where it winds up, maybe 20, 30 chapters down the road, because it's kind of like looking at Tower of God. If you've ever, you know, read Tower of God, which I'm assuming a lot of you have, it's a really good series, you know, Tower of God, when you look at its, like, first chapters, it doesn't look at all the same to its current stuff going on right now with the chapter that released, you know, like, last week. So, just like when you think about it, it's like, I, I love seeing the growth of artist and a writer as a story progresses. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm so drawn to stuff like this, like, you know, manga and webtoons in general, because of just how you could see the growth over the course of years of writing. So anyways, if you guys are interested in the series, I'll have it linked in the description and also in the comments below if you want to check it out for yourself. It's right there. It's free to read. The first seven chapters are completely free to read and it's legal. So do not worry. You can check it out for yourself, like I said, in the description. And on top of that, if you're interested in buying any merch for, let's say, from Webtoon, I'll also have that linked in the description as well. And I also have a discount code for 15% off, Chibi15, in the description as well, which you could copy and paste as a redeem code when you go to the checkout store for the merchandise on the Webtoon store. So, just FYI, if you're interested in that, go check it out. It helps me out a lot as well. If you click on it and all that and read the series, helps me out. Just keeping it transparent with all of you. 
But anyways, guys, you be safe. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Thank you so much for watching this video. And with that, guys, Chibi out.